Today on the newscast, Hezbollah builds new watchtowers along Lebanon's border with Israel as Israel plans new bomb shelters for northern communities who are in Hezbollah's crosshairs. The Great Northern War is coming. Get all the breaking details next. Hey folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome to the Watchman Newscast. On previous editions of the Watchman Newscast and the Watchman TV show on TBN, we have taken you to southern Israel along the Gaza border and showed you how Israeli homes there have been reinforced with bomb shelters, nearly every one along that border area. Well, Israel's defense ministry announced today that Israeli communities along the Lebanon border in Israel's north are also going to begin a major effort to better reinforce their homes with bomb shelters. Now, the IDF is focusing on 21 communities across northern Israel along the Lebanon border where Hezbollah, the Iranian proxy, lives and breathes and is equipped with at least 150,000 rockets and missiles pointed at every inch of Israel. But of course, those Israeli communities, those beautiful Israeli communities in the north are in closest proximity to those Hezbollah rockets and missiles. So again, 21 communities in particular the IDF is focusing on. They are building new bomb shelters and also reinforcing existing bomb shelters. The operation the IDF is conducting here with the shelters is called Shield of the North. And this will be a massive undertaking as the IDF and Israelis in general prepare for that coming Great Northern War that we've talked about so much here on the newscast, where I believe a day is coming where Israel will be forced to face off against Hezbollah, the Iranian regime, and their various radical jihadi allies in southern Lebanon and in Syria. Of course, Iran's other proxies and allies in the region will also throw their hats in the ring. I've called it the ring of fire that surrounds Israel on all sides. Of course, you have Lebanon with Hezbollah, as we're discussing, various Shia militias in Iraq and Syria, the Houthis in Yemen, and Hamas and Islamic Jihad in Gaza, all surrounding Israel and armed to the teeth with tens of thousands of rockets and missiles and attack drones that Iran would love to employ against the Jewish state in this future conflict that obviously Israel knows is coming in interviewing Israeli Defense Forces officials over the past few years. They've said the conflict with the North, the coming war against Hezbollah, I should say in the North, is a question not of if, but when. So really this announcement today, folks, should come as no surprise that Israel is reinforcing the beautiful communities in Northern Israel. And I can't stress enough how beautiful that region is, folks. I've spent a lot of time in Israel's north. I love it. Fresh air, scenery, God's land. It's a beautiful place. But in a future conflict with Hezbollah, the IDF believes that perhaps as many as 1,500 rockets per day may rain down on the communities of northern Israel. Take it back 16 years to the last major war between Israel and Hezbollah. And Many Israelis, thousands upon thousands of Israelis in those northern communities were forced underground into bomb shelters. Many went south to get out of the range of those Hezbollah rockets. Well, I can tell you, I'm sad to say that Hezbollah is a much more formidable force today, 16 years on, with tens of thousands more rockets, some of them precision guided, than they had in 2006. So, Israel's certainly gearing up. At the same time, Hezbollah is also gearing up. We are hearing reports that Hezbollah along that northern border is erecting watchtowers or observation posts, at least 15 reportedly in recent weeks. Now, why is Hezbollah doing this? A clearly psychological terror in one respect to show Israelis, hey, we're watching you. You have uh, Lebanese men, Hezbollah members, I should say, in civilian clothes, armed, reportedly manning these watchtowers along Israel's border. Now, Hezbollah apparently is saying that these towers, or the word is that these towers belong to an environmental group, but that's just a guise that Hezbollah is using. And uh, by the way, this is happening under the nose of the UN. UN forces have been in southern Lebanon for years now, since that 2006 war. Folks, it's a mess. It's a very dangerous situation. I have seen these watchtowers up close, not in recent weeks, 
But even a few years back, Hezbollah had these watchtowers dotted along various points of the Israel-Lebanon border. Let's go there right now with our good friend, Middle East analyst Avi Melamed, and we'll get a look not only at some of those watchtowers, but we'll get an idea of how this situation has devolved the way it has, again, right under the noses of the UN. Take a look. Well, Avi, we are still here on the Lebanon border in the northernmost part of Israel. We talked earlier about the lack of really a, a Lebanese government presence, it seems, here in southern Lebanon. It seems that Hezbollah, in many ways, reigns supreme. How did that happen? It happened in the most simple way, and this is the bully way. Remember, Hezbollah, established by the Iranians in the beginning of the 80s, massively armed by the Iranians, the excuse was the fight against Israel. When the Hezbollah was demanded by the Lebanese government to disarm itself, his answer was, don't you dare touching this weapon. This is the weapon of the resistance, meaning allegedly continuing the fight against Israel. And this is basically how Hezbollah kidnapped Lebanon from within. When, wow. when the time and the circumstances called for, Hezbollah was using this power in order to dictate its political will on the Lebanese government and to be more accurate, to dictate the Iranians' will. So Hezbollah, Avi, is the big bully here, the main power source in southern Lebanon. But it's interesting to me because the UN is here as well. We're, we're in a landscape right now where we're standing, where we see a UN presence. Tell, tell us a little bit about uh, the kind of the differences in southern Lebanon that we see right in front of us here. Well, Eric, if you look right in front of you, you could see three symbols that actually tells the story of Lebanon for clearly the last, the last 20 years, if not more. You see the United Nations military post and you see the vehicle of the United Nations. A right. little bit beyond that, you could see the Lebanese flag. Mm -hmm. There is a Lebanese military base. Next to that, you see the border with Israel. And if you look all the way to the left-hand side, you could see this tower standing there. This is a tower very close to the Israeli border on the Lebanese side that established by the Hezbollah disguised wow. as an environmental watching tower. <laughs> so you have here three symbols that actually tells the story of Lebanon's struggle for sovereignty. Yeah. The UN is here because yeah. Lebanese government failed to exercise their sovereignty. Reminding you, in 2006, the Israeli Hezbollah war that lasted 33 days. Right. Following that war, United Nations Security Council 1701 ordered the deployment of Lebanese army and United Nations units all the way down to the border with Israel. That's the reason why you see today United Nations deployment here. That's wow. the reason why you see today deployment of the Lebanese army as well. Mm -hmm. But the major factor on yeah. the ground as of now still remain the Hezbollah. The watchtower yeah. is a great example for that. That's stunning, Avi. We were discussing that he Hezbollah has this watchtower right on Israel's border looking out over Israel. Hezbollah, this militant terrorist army. Unbelievable. And this isn't the only one of these towers, Avi. As you and I were driving along here along the Lebanon border, we saw several of these Hezbollah towers dotting Israel's border in southern Lebanon, looking out over Israeli communities like Matula, where we've been today. And the most interesting part about it in many ways, the UN, as you said, Avi, a UN base is right next to this Hezbollah tower. What is the UN doing here? Excellent question. The UN is monitoring the situation on the ground, making sure, allegedly, that the instructions of 1701 Security Council resolution yeah. will be kept. One of the most important instructions is that the Hezbollah will be forbidden to have a formal open presence in the area stretching between the Israeli-Lebanese border up something like 40, mi 40 kilometers. That is not the situation on the ground. The Hezbollah is everywhere. Folks, as you can see, a very precarious position along Israel's border with Lebanon, thanks to Hezbollah's military buildup. Hey, if you like that clip and you want to see more like it, be sure to tune in to our Watchmen TV show, 30 minutes each week on TBN, Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, and 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Fridays. If you love the newscast, you will love our weekly TBN show. We are on the ground, as you just saw, in points throughout Israel and throughout the Middle East. Good stuff. We think you'll like it. And 
If you'd like to get an exclusive first look at every new episode of the Watchmen TV show before it hits the air, you can become a Watchmen Newscast Premium member. Just go to our homepage here on the YouTube channel, go to join, click, and for $4.99 a month, you not only help to keep us on the air, but you will get that exclusive first look before anyone else in the world of every brand new episode of The Watchmen Show, including some exclusive behind the scenes commentary from yours truly. And we are also planning to roll out some new premium member benefits, including exclusive premium Q and A's. It's gonna be good stuff. If you are not a premium member, don't worry. We still love you and you'll still be able to watch the newscast every single day here uh, on our YouTube channel. But we wanted to just offer a little something more uh, to our loyal watchmen and women on the wall who are joining us every day. So check that out. Uh, premium membership under join on the homepage. Hey, thanks so much for joining us here today on the Watchman Newscast. Pray for the communities in northern Israel. Until tomorrow, God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the Watchman Newscast. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, click subscribe, and tap the bell icon to turn on notifications for new Watchman Newscast episodes every weekday.